And it is great to see you watches on the other side of the screen. Today I am gonna do some mini builds. And with mini I meant the mini car from set 70894. But I am gonna show you the extras I did with it. And I am pretty sure that it will be very, very interesting for you. <laughs> like often I talk too much. You wanna see builds and pictures. I will walk to the first build and then I zoom in to show you all the modifications and extras I made. Don't stay there, come a little closer. Like many of the Lego lovers I bought this set mainly because of this red mini. And the good observers or people who knows the mansion sets probably noticed that I did some modifications. Not only to the build itself, but there are also extra custom stickers. Later I will tell more about those stickers. I've changed the rally mini in a more city car. I changed the bumpers at front and aft and removed the roof rack with spare tires. Also. I added some more plates in the interior to make it more complete and the driver got a lower seat. Now it is possible that Zabadak can drive the car even with its cat kit. I added and changed the sides here to make the interior more complete and I lowered the seat just by one plate. But that was enough for the driver. I will show you that in a second. It's now a perfect fit for me. Also I added a red transparent plate to the afterside of the roof, suggesting it is a third brake light and a transparent black smoked tile, suggesting it is a kind of sunroof. And I also got to mention the white rods behind the transparent tile in the headlines. In my opinion this looks better and I often use that solution for other cars. But the real extra nice touch comes from the stickers. I designed them for the bumpers the side skirts, the door handles, the fuel cap, the side markers lights and the rear bumper. But I wanted to do more, especially with the tail lights, fog lights, air intakes, stripes and so on and so on. So I needed an extra car. And why not a convertible? Last summer I drove in a mini convertible of a colleague of mine. And that gave really much fun. So I started to collect the needed parts in the special color bright light yellow. And I also picked up some light alloy wheels, a brown interior. And now I will show you the result. Well what about that? Looking already very good, isn't it? But I mentioned it earlier, I wanted to design more stickers. I contacted a sticker maker if he could help me. And the result, the result is this. Yes. Now I got racing stripes in three different colors, door handles, tail lights, air intakes, fuel caps, license plates, grills, Cooper S grill, for the bumpers, air intake, uh, you name it. The rear side is finished. Doesn't that look good? Racing stripes, tail lights with the Union Jack mark in it, side markers, fog lights, a license plate with the abbreviation of Zabadak in the year 2021. I just finished the front side. There are air intakes on the bumpers and in the hood or bonnets, racing stripes, the black and white version. I liked my solution of high beam lights. But if you want, you can choose for a grill sticker in a normal or Cooper S type variant. Ok, 
I will go further with both sides. Both sides are done. You can see the fuel cap, the door handles, a kind of side skirt and most important, that was for me absolutely a must, window frames. I like that very much. Well, 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 I'm really flabbergasted about the end result of these two cars. It looks awesome. Of course, a show of 360 degrees is needed. So, enjoy the watch. If you want to see more detailed pictures, you can maybe also watch my Instagram page Zabadak and the Layman Bricks or look in the description. I really enjoyed to make both cars and to design the stickers. Of course I hope you like it too. Then please hit the like button or for me motivating button or even better hit the subscribers and notification button. I think it's time for a ride. So now I can only say, you know the words, bedankt voor het kijken en tot de volgende keer. Doei!